Our goal is to make you feel comfortable and at home. And welcome back. So we do have a lot of sunshine across the region today. Just a few passing clouds out there. And temperatures did uh, still make it up to 100. That's our high for the day. That's our current temperature. That dew point, though, is 36. So a lot less humid than yesterday. But that dry air does warm up pretty quickly. We have that dry air because we have a west-northwesterly wind, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Now, even though we do have a little bit of a northerly component, we mainly have a westerly wind. And that usually does make us dry in this climate. So North Platte is the warm spot at 100. We're into the upper 90s at Ogallala and Imperial near 90 at Hyannis and Broken Bow and 93 right now at Lexington and Valentine. There's your wind northwest 10 to 20 miles per hour keeping us dry. Uh, here's a look at the dew point. So out toward Broken Bow and Lexington we, we have dew point values near 50 but mid 30s from North Platte, upper 30s off to the west. So that's very dry air out there. So watch out for the fire danger. We do have that red flag warning for uh, most of the viewing area right now from North Platte and points off to the north and points off to the west. That is until 8 p.m. Central Time tonight. Let's take a look at the Doppler radar. Barely anything on it. Maybe a few clouds out toward Imperial. Uh, rain showers into northeastern Colorado and that is basically it. They should miss us for the, the night tonight. Low Low pressure system tracking to our north had a little bit of a cold front come through yesterday, but still we have that strong southerly flow and a lot of sunshine from these high pressure systems out there. So that really did continue to warm us up. So even on a cool day, we still reach 100 degrees. That's how hot we have been this summer. So here's a look at the jet stream, a little bit of a dip in it, some cooler air across the northern plains, but that's not going to last very long because by the end of the work week, that upper level high pressure system back, we're going to stay hot with those highs, not only for us, but almost all the way to the west coast, 10 to 15 degrees above average. Average high this time of year around 90 degrees. So we're going to spend a few more days above 100 as we go through time. So as we make our way through the evening, temperatures quickly falling back through the 70s. We'll be into the low 60s for low temperatures. That dry air does cool down pretty quickly. But for the day tomorrow, we continue to have clear skies, lots of sunshine. Should make it to near 100 again in North Platte, uh, mid to upper 90s most everywhere else. And as for that next chance of moisture. Here is Thursday, still mainly sunny and highs near 101 by around 3 or 4 p.m. But into the evening, we do have a 10% chance of some showers and thunderstorms uh, as we go through it through your Thursday evening. But most of the moisture is going to be from Broken Bow and Lexington and points off to the east. So just barely skirting our viewing area. The Tri-Cities could pick up some moisture from this one. It just doesn't look like there's a big chance of some moisture as the system's warm front makes its way through on Thursday evening. After that, another very hot high pressure system takes over and that's going to be with us through the weekend. This cold front could spark off some more chances for some showers and storms. But other than that, we do stay mainly dry. Near 100 the next two days, lots of sunshine. There's your 10% chance of moisture Thursday and Friday. That's basically it through the work week. 102 on Friday and 103 on Saturday. Now Saturday through Tuesday, we'll keep partly cloudy skies and a 20 to 30% chance of some evening storms and that will cool us off. Lower 90s Sunday and Monday. More humid though. High of 95 for the day on Tuesday as we stay warm. Kent Melanie? Alright. Are you spending a lot of time outside, Kent? <laughs> I am not these days. I've spent a lot you, of time Justin? inside. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. How about you, Justin? Oh, yeah. I'm probably going to stay in the air conditioning, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I've spent a lot of time outside. Thank you so much, Justin. And a quick note, there is an accident happening around 5, that happening around 530 east of Lexington on I-80. The accident blocking the west.